All right, guys. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna be dealing with with um, the daily heave right here. Okay. Now, there's many ways to deal with this, but you know this one in particular is um, is very effective. Okay. So I, I really like to control the uh, belt and the inside of the non-hooking leg. Okay. Um, not the outside. Okay. Now a lot of people some people do that, but I like to have the the inside grip here, controlling the belt. So I have. Uh, an idea where his hips are and, and, and how he's going to move. So here, I have a good base. I'm going to keep my toes pointed, pointed towards the outside here, okay? Because if I, if I keep my toes pointed on the inside, you know, he can start getting more leverage and turning my knee and, um, and start having his way here. So, um, base is important. Okay, so controlling the, the inside of the leg, controlling the belt here. Okay, so I have a good base. I'm just going to kind of quickly just um, uh, just straighten my leg out, just to kind of remove that hook. You know, you know, just with my base here, even if he's got long legs like like Bebo here, you know, I can still kind of boom, kind of break it a little bit. And once it's broken, I'm keeping my elbow tight to my knee. I'm gonna let go of the belt and swim underneath. I'm gonna touch the ground to break his grip. And as soon as I touch the ground, I'm gonna lift the leg with my elbow, and I'm driving with my knee towards this side. Now it's gonna cause him to defend. Okay, and once he defends, here, look, he moved his hip, and I totally expect that. So once he does that, I'm going to move quickly to the other side here and establish side control on the other side. Okay? So again, get a good base here, forward knee, good squat with my hips, low center of gravity, controlling this leg here. My elbows are on outside, keeping my elbows tight on the inside here. My foot is on the outside of his hip, good base, and I'm just going to slightly, just kind of quickly move my, uh, straighten my leg there to move, remove that hip, move that um, uh, foot off my leg here. Let go of the belt, circle my hand underneath, and he's got a grip on my sleeve here, so I'm going to push to the ground just to break that, okay? But once I do, I'm going to reach and I'm going to lift my elbow up high to kind of bring that leg up. Drive my knee to the mat, which is going to force him to defend. He's going to hip escape. Boom, and I'm still controlling this other leg. So once he hip escapes, I'm going to move immediately on the other side here and establish side control. So I'm going to do it full speed one time here. Any questions? Let's go, guys. So, basic, basic sweep here, guys, but, um, but very effective, highly effective, if, as long as you uh, set it up the right way. I've got, I have my daily heave hook around the outside of the leg, anchored to his thigh, okay? My other foot is controlling somewhat his, the inside of his other thigh here, okay? And I'm controlling both sleeves, if you notice. Even if he has the grips on my, my belt, and on my leg here, I'm going to control his sleeves. And I'm just going to mess with his balance a little bit, pushing him away. Now, even if I straighten him out, he, they don't like that, so they come towards me here. And I accept that, okay? And notice, no matter how big they are, I get light, okay? And now I have control of the arms, I have control of the hips. And once they're in the air, I can kind of go where I want. But since I have a hook on this leg, I want to go to that side. So when I push, accept his weight, pick him up. I'm going to bring that same side arm across. I'm going to turn my knee uh, to the same side here, and I'm push with the other leg here. Let him fall down, and I'm going to fall, follow right up to the side control. Again. Controlling the sleeves, hooking the outside of the leg, anchoring myself to his leg so I can kind of manipulate his base. Once he, I get him coming back and forth, back and forth, I'm going to pick him up, boom. Cut my knee across, pull his grips across, let him fall. And I can follow to the side control. Now, one time fast. Okay, come on guys.